Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise, and this is the continuation video of solving previous year university question paper. That is November 2022 financial management. In that, we are solving section B five mark questions and section C ten mark questions. Okay, you can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to solve section C ten mark question second one. That is Walter's model under dividend policy. Now let's see the question. See the problem. Details regarding three companies are given below. Here we have three different companies: N Limited, M Limited, and G Limited. Okay, and they have given some important informations. That is R rate of return for three different companies, and K cost of capital also given, and earnings per share also given for three different companies. Okay, with this information, they are asking us to calculate. Value of equity shares of each of these three companies. Okay, when dividend payout is thirty percentage, sixty percentage, and hundred percentage by using Walter's model. Okay, so we are going to use Walter's model in order to calculate value of an equity shares of three different companies: N Limited, M Limited, and G Limited. When dividend payout is three different cases. Thirty percentage, sixty percentage, and hundred percentage. Okay, and after finding this, they asked us to comment on the results drawn. Okay, so we are going to calculate this for three different companies separately under three different payout proportion. Now let's see the solution. See the solution. We are going to calculate value of equity shares. Okay, for Yen Limited. Here we have three different companies. No. First, we are going to calculate value of equity for the first company, N Limited, and they have given R eighteen percentage, K fifteen percentage, E thirty rupees. Okay, with this information, we are going to calculate value of equity shares. What is the formula for value of equity according to Walter's model? This is the formula: D plus R by K into E minus D divided by K. Okay. Here in this problem, they have given R, K, E, except D. All the other informations are given in the problem. First, we need to calculate D. So, what is the formula for D? D refers to dividend. Okay, there is a formula to calculate D. The formula is earnings per share into payout. So, how much earnings per share? Thirty rupees. No. So, thirty rupees into payout. In this problem, they have given. Three different payout ratio. For the first case, thirty percentage dividend payout. Second one, sixty percentage, and third case, hundred percentage. So accordingly, you will be getting three different D. And after finding D, simply you can apply the formula to find out value of equity shares according to Walter's model. Okay. So first step is we need to calculate D. For that, just see the first case, thirty percent payout. No. So the remaining seventy retention. Second one sixty percentage payout. So remaining forty retention. The last one dividend payout is hundred percentage. Okay, so hundred percent payout. So retention is nil. That is zero. Okay. First we need to calculate D with the help of this proportion. So what is the formula for D? Earnings per share into payout ratio. So earnings how much? Thirty rupees. See the calculation of D. So D is equal to Thirty rupees into what is the payout ratio for the first case? Thirty percentage, no. So thirty by hundred. What is the answer? Rupees nine. This is D according to the first case. Okay. In the same way, we are going to calculate D for second case and third case. Okay. Thirty rupees earnings per share into payout is hundred percentage, no. Rupees thirty. The entire amount is dividend payout. Okay. After finding D, now we can simply substitute these value in the formula to find out value of equity shares. Okay. See the first one, D. So what is D? Nine rupees. Nine plus R by K. So what is R? Eighteen percentage. K fifteen percentage. Point one eight divided by Point one five into e minus d. E how much? Thirty rupees. No, d nine rupees. 
So 30 minus 9 divided by K, 15 percentage, 0.15. See the value, 9 plus 0.18 divided by 0.15, you will be getting 1.2 into 30 minus 9, you will be getting 21 divided by 0.15. The next step is, uh, okay, 9 plus 1.2 into 21 divided by 0.15, you will be getting 34.2 divided by 0.15. So, what is the answer? 228 rupees. This is the value of equity share according to the first case. In the same way, we are going to find out the value of equity for second case and third case. Okay, here. So, how much D? 18 rupees. No. So, 18 plus RK remains same. So, 0 0.18 by 0 0.15 into 30 minus D 18 rupees divided by 0 0.15. 18 plus 0.18 divided by 0.15, you will be getting same value. 1.2 into 30 minus 18, 12 divided by 0.15. So, 32.4 divided by 0.15, you will be getting 216 rupees. In the same way, third case. So, what is D? 30 rupees, no. So, 30 plus... R by K. Same value 0 0.18 divided by 0 0.15 into 30 minus 30. So, 30 minus 30 you will be getting 0. So, 0 with this value you will be getting 0. Okay. Divided by 0 0.15. So, 30 minus 30 is 0. 0 into this value 0. So, you will be having only 30 divided by 0 0.15. What is the answer? 200 rupees. This is the value of equity share according to the third case. Okay. So, in the same way, we are going to find out the value of equity shares for the M limited as well as G limited. Let us see the calculation for the second one, M limited. See the calculation for M limited. So, these are the informations given in the problem. R is equal to 20 percentage, K 20 percentage, earnings per share 40 rupees. And this is the formula to find out value of equity shares according to Walter's model. Okay. So, how to calculate D? What is the formula? Earning per share into payout. Okay. So, earnings per share is 40 rupees. And here we have three different payout proportion. So, accordingly we are going to calculate D first. So, D is equal to earning per share 40 rupees. No. So, 40 into payout ratio is 30 percentage. 30 by 100. So, rupees. 12. This is D according to the first case. So, after finding D, now we can substitute these values in the formula to find out value of equity share for three different cases. Okay, for the first one. So, D 12 rupees plus R divided by K. So, what is R? 20 percentage, no. So, 0 0.2 divided by K also 20 percentage, same value. So, 0 0.2 into E, earning per share 40 rupees minus D. So, D for the first case, 12 rupees, no. And divided by K, K is 20 percentage. So, 0 0.2. So, what is the value? 12 plus 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2, 1. So, 1 into 40 minus 12, 28 rupees. So, divided by 0 0.2. So, 12 plus 1 into 28, 28. So, 12 plus 28, 40 divided by 0 0.2. What is the answer? 200. This is the value of equity share according to the first case. In the second case, so what is D? 24 rupees. So, 24 plus RK remains same. 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 into E. E how much? 40 rupees. No. 40 minus 24 divided by 0 0.2.
okay 24 plus 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 1 into 40 minus 24 16 divided by 0 0.2 so 40 divided by 0 0.2 rupees 200 this is the value of equity share see the third case d how much 40 rupees no so 40 plus r by k same value 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 into e 40 rupees no 40 minus d 40 divided by 0 0.2 so here 40 minus 40 0 0 into this value 0 so you will be having only 40 divided by 0 0.2 so what is the answer rupees 200 this is the value of equity shares according to the third case now we will see the calculation for g limited see the next one g limited so these are the informations given in the problem r is equal to 8 percentage k 10 percentage e 20 rupees okay this is the formula to find out value of equity shares and this is the formula to calculate d okay so here we have three different cases no first we need to calculate d so earning per share into payout earnings how much 20 rupees no 20 into payout for the first case 30 percentage so how much d 6 rupees okay now after finding d value now you can substitute this value in the formula to find out value of equity shares for the first case d how much 6 rupees no 6 plus r by k r how much 8 percentage and k 10 percentage okay so 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.10 into e minus d e 20 rupees no so 20 minus d 6 rupees divided by k so k 10 percentage no 0 0.10 Answer is 172. This is the value of equity share for the first one. See the second calculation. So how much D? 12 rupees. So 12 plus same thing. 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.10 into earning per share 20 rupees minus D 12 rupees. Divided by 0 0.10. One eighty four. The third case. Okay, D. How much twenty rupees? No. So twenty plus same thing. Point zero eight divided by point one zero into twenty minus twenty divided by point one zero. Twenty minus twenty zero zero into this value zero. We'll be having only twenty divided by point one zero. So what is the answer? 200 okay so after finding the value of equity share for three different companies now we need to comment based on the value see the comment for the first company that is n limited so n limited is a growth firm the reason is the rate of return is more than the cost of capital so r 18 percentage k 15 percentage so the rate of return is higher than the cost of capital then the firm is called growth firm okay so n limited is a growth firm r is greater than k if payout is increases share prices decrease okay see the first one what is the payout proportion 30 percentage and what is the value of share 228 if the payout increases from 30 to 60 the value of share decreases again the payout is increased from 60 to 100. Again, the value of share is decreases from 216 to 200. So, it is better to retain the entire profit with the firm. So, the ideal payout is 0%. If the company retain 100% profit, then the company value of share will be increased. Okay. So, this is the optimum payout proportion. Now, let's see the comment for the next company that is M Limited. See the comment for the second one that is M Limited. 
m limited is a normal firm the reason is rate of return is equal to cost of capital see the problem r is equal to 20 percentage k also remains same 20 percentage so this company is called normal firm for the normal firm dividend payout does not affect the value of equity shares of the firm see here the payout is 30 percentage second case 60 percentage and third case 100 percentage whatever may be the proportion of payout the value of share remain same 200 200 200 okay so the payout proportion decision is not affect the value of shares so this is the comment for normal firm see the comment for the last one that is g limited g limited is a declining firm the reason is r is less than k that is rate of return is lesser than cost of capital see the problem r is 8 percentage whereas k is 10 percentage so r is lesser than k so if the payout ratio increases the value of an equity increases okay see the problem so here the first one is payout 30 percentage now what is the value of the share 172 if the payout increases from 30 to 60 the value share also increases okay from 172 to 184 if the payout increases from 60 to 100 percentage the value of share also increases from 184 to 200 rupees so it is better to distribute all the profit to the shareholders of the firm hence the ideal payout is 100 percentage because if you pay out the entire amount as dividend your market value per share will be higher so this is the comment for the last company that is declining firm so this is the way to solve the problem by using walter's model hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you